Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. We're going to talk about Gerard again, uh, so be ready. We're just going to follow up a little bit of what's going on, what's transpired since we last talked on the last, is a few Daily Bits ago. Um, just for you guys who don't know, Gerard has a channel on YouTube. It's been all around for a long time. Very influential gaming channel. Uh, he is very, he's, he's got a big voice in gaming. Um, he helps out with a lot of different channels. He was a part of G4 for a while. He has his own live streams. Uh, he has his own charity, which that's what we're going to talk about because, well, damn. So for those of you who do know, there was a charity called Open Hands. Uh, this is something Gerard and his family uh, owned and operated. Uh, it is for the fight against dementia. Uh, it was made uh, due to his mother, uh, who passed away from a severe case of dementia. And here's the thing. Don't attack this guy, and don't bring his mother into this. Um, just don't. Just don't do that, okay? Um, you know, I don't want his... Um, I don't want his mother's name to be tarnished, and I really don't want his name to be tarnished. Uh, but it's already already is. It's too late at this point. Uh, there's no going back from this. Uh, the money is basically set uh, set and hasn't gone to any funding for research or any families or anything like that. Uh, Gerard was on live streams, conventions, and other things uh, promoting this charity and saying that the money was being donated and it wasn't uh it's not saying it, the only thing it was was actually paying for expenses like uh operation costs but there's about six hundred some thousand dollars that was sitting in the bank but probably sit there for about 10 years give or take uh maybe a little bit less now you know if i'm wrong please let me know please let me know uh i i was disappointed in this because like i said i really like gerard I, I like his content. I've watched him for a long time. And I'm not going to beat a dead horse because we already talked about most of this. But I do want to talk about the development that's going on right now. So he brought out a, an apology video. Um, it was very... Um, it wasn't good. It was very bad. It's not ukulele bad, but it's it was pretty bad. Uh, to the point where he didn't really take... Uh, ownership of the issue, and he ended up threatening Mudahar and Carl uh, Jobs. I think is it Carl Jobs? Am I, am I wrong on that? I, I keep on wanting to call him like Carl Sparks or Carl, Carl Jobs, so I could be Carl. You're never going to see this, but I'm sorry. I, I I hope I get your name right. Um, but basically, Gerard has threatened to sue these two people for bringing this out saying that it's slander, defamation against him and his family. Now, Mudahar and Carl brought out a recording, uh, the full phone conversation or Teams conversation or whatever they uh, did, where, whatever they collaborated on and talked over, probably Zoom. Zoom everybody uses Zoom. Uh, but they released a full video, and it's really damning because um, Gerard basically begs Mudahar and Carl not to uh, do this. Basically, almost bribing them not to ruin his career. Um, now, I'm not going to play the video. You guys can go find that, and I'll put a link of it in the description. Um, but it did paint things, made Gerard look way worse than he needed. It wasn't a good look to begin with, and it's definitely not a good look now. Um you know, whatever goodwill that Gerard had, he probably just lost. And I don't think there's going to be any lawyers that listen to that phone call and say, yeah, that's defamation. Um, he kind of buried himself a little bit and made things worse than it actually is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that the completionist as a channel is probably already done here. Now, uh, there was a game it's called Sea of Stars. Uh, he was actually in the game. He had a character in the game. And the company behind that actually released a patch and removed him uh, from the game. Um, I haven't played the game. I hear it's amazing. Uh, I've heard nothing but great things. Um, but like I said, it's kind of disappointing that uh, people are trying to get away from this guy because it's just basically career suicide. Um, and I hate to say that. It, it really sucks to see 
some of these bigger YouTubers that you've followed for years and you think they're great people and doing great things and they turn out to do some scummy things. Um, you see a lot of that, a whole lot of that. There's a lot of it. Um, and, you know, it's never good. It's never good, especially if Gerard had great intentions. But he knew since, well, he said 2021, then he said 2022, that the money has just been sitting there and it hasn't been uh, given out to anybody. So it just sat there until Mudahar and Carl start researching this. And finally, they moved the money. It got donated, all 600 some thousand dollars which leads me to wonder, you know, what else was the money funding? There's probably more money that was made. Um, and I don't know what the operating cost is for something like that. I mean, they have conventions, live streams, they have editors and, uh, you know, camera teams, as well as a golfing event. Setting all this stuff is probably pretty expensive. Uh, and we know a thing about charities are not usually what they s seem to be. Uh, most of the time, uh, whenever, I don't know, a big charity says they're going to donate money to a certain thing, and most of the money goes to operating costs, and you know that specific thing the money was supposed to be for ends up only getting a fraction of that. Um, I'm imagining this is the same kind of case here. I don't know if... Gerard and his family uh, pocketed any of the money. I don't think so. I, I you know, I don't want to say that because a, I, I'm not going to. I don't want to get sued. But I do think that it was pretty fucked up that uh, it ended up this way. And there's a lot of people talking about this right now. Um, and here's the thing, guys: you should be aware of content creators that are doing fundraisers. Um, in the community that we've been following with the auditor, fraud auditor stuff, we know that a lot of these people, you know, ask for donations for certain causes like bail money, lawyers, legal fees, stuff like that. And they end up pocketing the money. Um, or, you know, and, and some of our favorite people like Chili, he does it all the time. He does it all the time. Pockets the money. Only probably gives a percentile to whatever cause it was for. Um, you know. If it looks like if it looks too good to be true, it's most likely not true, um, and that's that's unfortunate because um, not only does this paint a bad picture on Gerard and the completionists, but it also makes his cause for his mom look really tarnished, um, and it's going to make people second. They're going to second guess, you know, their favorite YouTube stars or content creators whenever they have charities. Like, do we know if this money is going to go to the right place? We don't know that. All we can do is hope, and hopefully, the content creator is not some kind of fucking dickhead. Um, at the end of the day, and I hate that. I really do. Like the phone call. I I'm glad that Mudahar and Carl released it. Um, because it does paint a bitter, bigger picture, uh, a whole better picture, actually, of this guy. Um, and it's really sad to see, um, especially when he was begging um, for them basically not to do it. Just kind of hint, hint, don't do it without saying it. Um, basically saying that, you know, he's got 20 people to feed. Uh, and he's talking about his probably employees. Uh, you know, he's like, Basically trying to make Mudahar and uh, Carl feel sorry for the guy, and I do. I feel I do feel for I feel for the guy. Right? I, feel, I do feel a bit sorry for the guy if he didn't know that the money was not being uh, sent out to the right places. He should have stopped it since he is the head of it, since he is an overseer. The money should have been spread out years ago. It should have been given out. As the donations came in. Now I don't, I know some people say. Well maybe he was saving up. For a big enough sum. To then give it away. Why 10 years though? Why, why is it. Why, why close to a decade? Just why? Why? I don't understand. But anyways guys. Thank you so much for watching. Just keep an eye on it. If you want to feel free to hop on some Ordinary Gamers channel. Check out the full interview. Um. 
that way you can kind of get more information so you can kind of paint uh, your own opinion on it. Because, like I said, I do think this is something that needs to be out there. Uh, I don't think people should sit on this because it is very important. Um, and this is definitely career ending for this content creator. So I love you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.